Glory to God. Hallelujah. Welcome to a new month. Glory to God. The month of October. Wonderful month. It's a blessed month. Hallelujah. Amen. This month we are considering the faith of Abraham. You know, the Bible says to look to Abraham, our father, and to Sarah that bear us. It says anyone and everyone who seeks the Lord and follows after righteousness should look to Abraham. So Abraham's faith is worthy of example. So we can look to him and look at his faith as a template. And we can take off from that template and follow the steps that he took and walk in the light of his faith and enjoy all that he enjoyed. Glory to God. And that's why this month we are looking at the faith of Abraham. How did it all begin? It began by the word of the Lord. Abraham's faith began by God's word. God spoke to Abraham. In Genesis chapter 12 and verse 1, he says, The Lord had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, get thee out of thy kindred, thy people, to a place that I will show you. And God accompanied that word of instruction and command with promises. He says, and I will bless you, and I will uh, make you a blessing. I will make your name great. I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse him that cursed thee. And he says, in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. So God's word came to Abraham. So what happened? Abraham believed God's word. You see, faith actually begins at the word of God. If you don't have God's word to believe, you cannot believe. The heart can only believe what God says. Praise the Lord. And that's why it's important to get the word of God. The word of God is the beginning, the foundation of our faith. Little one that the Bible calls Jesus, who is the living word, the author and the finisher of our faith. So your, your faith begins at the word of God. Amen. So receive God's word for your faith to begin. Faith is not what you cook up. It's not what you must up in the flesh. No. Faith is actually um, given to you through the ministry of the word of God. You are energized to believe God when God's word comes to you. And that's why the Bible tells us in Romans chapter 10 and verse 17, it says, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. If you want to believe God in your finances, you don't have to struggle to believe God there. What do you have to do? Get God's word concerning financial increase and your faith will be stirred up to believe God. Receive God's word, meditate on it, and then your faith will begin. That was how Abraham's faith began. He began by the word of God. The Lord spoke to him and that word came very strong. And Abraham believed God's word and he stepped out on God's word. And that was how his faith walk began with God. What a life of faith. And his faith life today has become the template that we can build on has become the foundation that we can take off from because Abraham was a man who believed God. The word came to him. I pray for you this month. Receive God's word. It comes to you in every sphere of your life, in your finances, in your marriage, in your family, in your career, in your ministry. You hear God. As you meditate upon the word of God, the written word of God, and you go to church to receive God's word, you will hear God clearly. The same way Abraham heard God and stepped out on God's word and became blessed for it. You hear God today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And this month for you is a month of the hearing of faith. You will hear God clearly. God will speak to you and instruct you, saying this is the way walk that we need. You will not turn to the right, not to the left. You will go straight on and fulfill your God-given mandate in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't forget, faith begins at the word. And Abraham's faith begins with God's word coming to him. Yours begins the same way as well. So then faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I believe you've been blessed today. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you and God bless you. Believe God. What does that mean? Accept God's word as your reality. Accept God's word as your prevailing force. Accept God's word as a definition of your life, your circumstances. Mm -hmm.